Hello and welcome to Clever Tips with Clever IT. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Quick Access Menu. So the Quick Access Menu is something in Windows 10 that is very unique and hasn't been seen in previous versions of Windows. It is, however, very reminiscent to the Android Quick Pull Down settings, which is basically where you can pull down from the top of your phone. In some cases you can pull down from the right, other cases you basically pull down twice, it uh, varies depending on the software, and that brings up some toggle icons. Well, Windows 10 has something similar, which they're calling the quick access, sorry, quick actions toggles. So what's going to happen here is you're going to see this icon here. Now this icon is going to change and turn white if there are any messages for you, okay? And those messages could be security related, they could be any number of different things. Um, and it's not uncommon to go in here and see quite a few, so don't be too alarmed. But when you go in there and you'll see those notifications right up here, but what we're looking at today is we're looking at these options down here, okay? There's a few options here. Tablet mode is a very interesting one. And what this does is this basically sort of reverts Windows to that original Windows 8 interface. So everything is immersive, everything is full screen. Um, you don't necessarily have those, uh, uh, you don't have the multitasking. I mean, the multitasking is still there. <laughs> Excuse me, but it's not as obvious as you have seen it before um, in the non-tablet mode because you don't see those icons down here below anymore. Okay, that's tablet mode. So when you hit on that, we'll just kind of do that. You can see it sort of changes. We've lost those icons that were down here, um, and the start menu immediately comes up, and it is full screen. So we'll just turn that off again. Rotation lock. Now this is going to be enabled if the device that you're using has the ability to do rotation. Now um, the device we are using does have that ability, but I do believe that at the moment it is turned off. There is a physical button to do that. Um, so we're not going to go digging around trying to figure that out at the moment. But if your device had the ability to rotate and automatically change the rotation, um, that's where this rotation lock uh, would come into play. In fact, actually, if I, if I remember correctly now, because we are using a Surface Pro, uh, you can't see this, but if I remove the keyboard, there we go, you'll see now the rotation lock is in place and we can basically toggle it off or on. And as soon as we put that keyboard back on there, that goes away, which makes sense. Very, very smart. Your next option here is note. So basically if you click on that, you're going to be able to bring up a note. Now we don't have a note app in place. Uh, OneNote is basically the, the sort of the default and that's currently not enabled. But what you can do is you can go into the app store and you can find another app. We're not going to do that at the moment, but then the advantage there is that you can quickly go in and, and basically set a note. The other thing is here next is all settings. That's going to bring you into all settings. Okay. So that's sort of a bit of a quicker, another way to get in there. I don't want to say quicker because ultimately you can click here and go into settings, but it is another way to get into settings. Uh, this connect, basically if you click on that, this is going to start searching for a wireless display or audio device that you can connect to. So if you wanted to um, wirelessly broadcast your display to a compatible device, you can do that. Um, connect to, say for example, a, a Bluetooth speaker or something of that nature, that's where you could go um, and, and basically get access to do that. Uh, battery saver, this is disabled right now because it is plugged in. If we were to unplug... Actually, that might be wrong. I think that doesn't kick in until you start actually running out of uh, space, or sorry, running out of battery, and then you can sort of kick that in. VPN is to connect to a virtual private network. So if you're saying can I, trying to connect into your work, you can do that. This is to toggle on and off Bluetooth. So if you were to hit this, it'll turn Bluetooth off, which we're not going to do because then my mouse is going to stop working. This will allow you to go in and adjust the brightness of the display. We're at 50% right now. Obviously, this is irrelevant to you guys because it's not going to matter when, because you're watching a video. But I will tell you this, that even at 50%, this Microsoft Surface display is incredible. So this is the uh, Surface Pro 3 that we have. And at 50%, I would guess that this was 100%. I mean, it is that nice. I don't even know what 100% would look like, but it might hurt my eyes, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, here we've got Wi-Fi. This will allow you to turn off and on Wi-Fi. This will allow you to configure your quiet hours, or, or sorry, turn on quiet hours. If you already have quiet hours configured and you're in that quiet hour time, that'll do it. Quiet hours is very similar to what other devices, um, Android devices and Apple devices do, where you can set time when you're going to be sleeping and you don't want this thing, you know, beeping and doing anything to, to get any kind of indication because you don't want to be woken up. 
Location, pretty straightforward. This is going to turn on or off the location functionality um, of your device. And of course, that's going to depend on the device. Some devices, you may have GPS built in, other ones you may not. And then finally, airplane mode. This is pretty standard. You're on an airplane, you want to turn on airplane mode so, so it turns off the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you know, your connectivity options so that you continue using the device, playing a game or doing something like that. That's it for today's tip. Thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time.